Hi, this is Greg from In5D.com, and today I want to talk about tidal wave dreams. I know a lot of people in the metaphysical fields have been having these kind of dreams, and today I want to talk about that. So, first of all, uh, a lot of you know that I have a BA in psychology, and I went on to get my subsequent master's degree, but when I was going to college, one of the classes I took was the psychology of sleep and dreams. So, in a typical tidal wave dream analysis, a tidal wave would probably mean something overwhelming is heading your way. It's kind of like the, uh, it's a metaphor. It's like kind of like having a car tire, a huge car tire rolling at you. And it means that something is probably overwhelming in your life. At least that's what the typical uh, dream analysis uh, interpretation would be. But what you have to do is look at the metaphysical aspect of dream analysis and what what I found that in at least at the college level they didn't look at dreams metaphysically for example I had this one dream where I was in the foundation of a house that was being built and there's uh, these concrete cinder blocks all around me and there were three ladders that were heading up to the top of the house and uh, I was at the top of these ladders and I'm, I'm straddling uh, these ladders. I've got one foot on the right ladder, one foot on the left ladder, and I'm straddling the center, the center ladder. So uh, in this dream, a typical dream analysis would be, well, let me go uh, uh, backtrack a little on this. They say that, for example, if you, you see yourself in a house or that you're in a car, the house is you even though you're in the house, or the car is you even though you're in the car. So for example, if you're driving a car, and uh, you're out of control, what that would say is there's something probably in your life that's out of control. So getting back to this dream, I'm in this house and you have these three ladders. The typical dream analysis for the ladder would be, you know, you're, 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 you're moving up in the world. You're perhaps uh, getting a promotion or just got a promotion, but they're not looking at it metaphysically. Now, what I see this as is something that when you look at a ladder, you see the two, you know, the poles that are going up on the side and the rungs in the middle. That looks like a strand of DNA. And so there were three ladders there, which means three strands of DNA. If the house, if the house is you or me in this dream, uh, then what that's saying is that we, and this is my interpretation of the dream, it's, it's more of a global interpretation, but that we are heading towards a three strand DNA. So that was a, a pretty amazing dream. Now, I, had re I recently had this dream where I'm walking down to the beach and there's this huge tidal wave coming toward me. And it's, it's monstrous. And I, you know, I, so I head back and there's a beach house behind me. So I'm about ready to go in there. In the opposite direction, coming up over a mountain was another tidal wave. And this one was 10 times bigger than the initial tidal wave that I saw. So I go into the beach house and the waves, you know, they converge over me and they subside. And while they were over me, as a matter of fact, I could stick my hand through the window and touch the water. And the whole time I am not panicking at all. I was very calm, very relaxed. So the, the water resides and I get out of the beach house and as I get out of the beach house, I see another wave coming up over the mountain behind me again, you know, another huge 10 times as big as the first wave that I saw. So I go back into the house, the water goes over me again, and uh, it resides, and I get out of the house. And I remember at that point that I had a truck that was up on the mountain. Now in real life, I've never owned a truck, but in this stream I did for some reason. So I get out, go up the mountain, and uh, there's a bunch of people up there milling around. And there was a whole new different like energy that was going on there, and it was very peaceful, very serene, calm. And that's when I woke up. So when you look at this dream from a metaphysical standpoint, water is a mutable energy. It can be gas, solid, liquid, it can be any of those. But, so when you think of it that way, what is a wave? 
a wave can be a wave of water. It could be a wave of energy. And that was what I felt. It was more like a wave of energy. And these two waves are going to converge. Now what's going to happen is we're going to all be looking at this one wave. And that's the initial wave that I saw. And that could be the, uh, the galactic super wave that um, Paul LaViolette was talking about. It could be one of the things that I mentioned in, in uh, the article I wrote called the uh, Cosmic Wild Card, where it's a number of different things. But we're all going to be focused on this one wave of energy. And behind us, there's another wave. And we're going to know when they converge. Because when they converge, something magical is going to happen. Now, I don't know if that's going to be, you know, moving into the next stage of spiritual progression or, you know, turning into light bodies. Who knows what it's going to be, but something magical is going to happen at that point in time. Now, what's going to happen also is because they've, they've already converged and some kind of big change has already happened, there's another wave that comes over from behind and does a final cleansing. So I think what that's going to do is give people an opportunity, say, let's say those first two converge and uh, a bunch of people move on to whatever the stage or whatever magic happens at that point. The people that get left behind will still have an opportunity with this last wave that comes through. I recently had a vision. I get these visions right before I go to sleep. And I saw a person in front of me. I don't know if that was me or who it was, but what happens in an instant is that this light comes in and comes down and it just floods the whole planet. And at that point in time, when this light floods the planet, all you feel is total unconditional love. For e and that's exactly what I felt through whatever being that was in front of me. And I don't know if that's what's going to happen when these two waves converge but my own discernment is telling me, yeah, that, that is part of the whole deal. So what I recommend is that you have a dream journal. And all you need to do is keep a, a pen and a piece of paper next to your bed and write down the keywords of your dream as soon as you wake up. Because if you don't do that, you're going to forget your dream immediately. And if you try to write it out word for word, you're not going to get all the details. So make sure you just write down the keywords first and then put it all together afterwards. Now, I think I've told this story a few times, but for those who haven't heard it, I once had this dream about meeting my spirit guide. But first, I have to tell you that I was born in upstate New York in the Catskill Mountains, and I've always had this affinity for palm trees and the ocean. And I had no idea why. I, haven't, I didn't see a palm tree until I was in my 30s. I'd never been to Florida until then, um, but I always had this affinity for them. So eventually I did move to Florida, you know, maybe 10, 12 years ago, something like that. And uh, about five or six, maybe seven years ago, I had this dream where I met my spirit guide. And she's a beautiful, uh, she's an, a Mexican Indian kind of woman, long, straight black hair flowing white gown, uh, flowing white gown and uh, just absolutely beautiful uh, young woman and she introduces herself to me she goes hi my name is Tamara I'm your your spirit guide and here I am I can ask my spirit guide anything I want to and what do I do I repeat her name over and over and over again so I wouldn't forget it so that's all I kept doing in my mind I was going Tamara 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 and I said it so many times that I woke myself up out of the stream and I could have asked her anything, but I didn't. So here it is about three o'clock in the morning. I'm wide awake. I just met my spirit guide, you know? So I go on the computer and I type in on Google, Tamra meaning, and I look it up. Tamra means palm tree and it all made sense right then. So here I am, uh, you know, I, Siesta Key is two miles away. I, I live near the number one beach in the United States with the 99% quartz crystal sand. That was the beach part and the palm tree part was uh, 
my spirit guide, Tamara, and I met her in a dream. So that's why it's really important that you, you keep that pen and piece of paper next to your bed to record this stuff because even though it might not, might not make sense, whatever that dream is right now, down the road it will. And always try to look at your dreams from a metaphysical standpoint. For example, you know, if you're having a dream like a tidal wave, and if you've had that dream, please make a comment below. But if you had that dream about a tidal wave and you felt calm about it and relaxed, try to look at it from a metaphysical standpoint. A friend of mine that I, I know, one of my beach buddies, uh, Kenny, he's had a similar dream where this tidal wave comes in. It was just one wave. This tidal wave comes in, washes over him. He's underwater, but he felt calm. He, it's as if he can live underwater. He could breathe underwater and uh, no fear whatsoever with him as well. So uh, just like in my dream, no fear whatsoever. It was just as if, you know, it, it was a wave of energy, like I said. But always make sure that you look at these dreams from a metaphysical standpoint because they will give you the answers that you are looking for. So if you've had this kind of dream about the tidal wave or if you've had multiple tidal wave dreams, please leave a comment below in the more info section. I also have a, an article on N5D with the top 40 uh, dream uh, interpretations, which I do include the metaphysical interpretations for. So I'll leave a link below on the YouTube video and in the article on N5D. That's it for now. This is Greg from N5D.com.